one spin in thermal contact with a small spin system. Consider a system A consisting of A spin one half having magnetic moment mu zero, another system A prime consisting of three spins each having magnetic moment mu zero. Both systems are located in the same magnetic field B. The systems are placed in contact with each other so that they are free to exchange energy. Suppose that when the moment of A points up, when it's in the plus state, two of the moments of A prime point up, one of them points down. Count the total number of states accessible to the combined system when the moment of A points up and when it points down. Hence calculate the ratio P minus to P plus where P minus is the probability that the moment of A points down and P plus is the probability that it points up. Assume that the total system A plus A prime is isolated. So we are given the following scenario. For system A, the spin points up and it is going to be placed in thermal contact with system A prime, uh, which has two of its spins pointing up, one pointing down, plus, minus, uh, plus, or minus, plus, plus. Then we would have for the magnetic moment in system A, M is equal to mu zero. And the magnetic moment, total magnetic moment in system A prime, plus two mu zero, minus mu zero, also mu zero. So what would be the total magnetic moment in the start system, m plus m prime, it would be equal to 2 mu zero. So we reach the constraint that E star, which is minus 2 mu zero B, is a constant. Why? Because A star, A plus A prime, isolated. So we have to obey this constraint. So you can see that uh, when I have uh, sigma 1, which is the spin of the system A, uh, equals to uh, minus 1, then, or I can write this as system A has a, a minus uh, sigma value, then we would need a prime uh, to be plus 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 because we need to have a total of two mu zero so sigma one prime sigma two prime sigma three prime uh, these should be equal to plus one and this is basically so that uh, we can get when m is equal to uh, minus mu zero m prime is equal to 3 mu zero and the total moment m plus m prime is, is still equal to 2 mu zero and the condition that the star system energy must be minus 2 mu zero b is satisfied. So we can show this on a table. So you can have uh, for uh, the system, uh, system A uh, the moment is up sigma 1 is up, that is the scenario given uh, in at the beginning and then we know that A prime has to have uh, two spins up one down and the other scenario when sigma 1 is minus then in order to get the total moment equal to uh, plus for M system I have here uh, system A has mu zero. Here it has uh, M prime system has uh, also mu zero, and the total is total energy must be minus two mu zero b. So what should I do in order to get minus two mu zero b here? When sigma one is minus, that is, I should have a minus mu zero here. Then to get minus 2 mu zero b uh, as the energy, or uh, then we would need to have 3 mu zero for m prime, so that m star is going to be plus 2 mu zero, and corresponding energy will be minus 2 mu zero b. 
So this will give us uh, plus, plus, plus. Uh, so if you wish here, you could add to the to this list m star. m star is has to be 2 mu 0 in all the configurations here. Uh, so this is going to be satisfied. So I see that there are three configurations where I have uh, uh, sigma 1 is equal to minus 1. So probability of uh, the minus sigma value is 1 over 4. The probability of having a positive a moment in the A system, system A is 3 over 4. So the ratio P minus to P plus ratio is 1 over 4 times 4 over 3. So we find that the ratio we're looking for is 1 over uh, 3. Okay, so once again, this is a constraint problem. We have a system A which has a one spin having magnetic moment mu zero. System A prime has three spins, two up, one down, so that you have uh, two moments are up and one down in system A prime, so that you have uh, mu zero as the total magnetic moment in A prime and mu zero in the in A. So the total magnetic moment has to be two mu zero so that the total energy minus two mu zero B is a constant because the combined system is isolated. And I have made a table here in order to satisfy the condition that M star is two mu zero or energy is minus two mu zero B when uh, system A has a negative moment minus mu zero then I need to have plus three mu zero in system A prime in order to get a total of plus two mu zero so system A prime has to have all moments up and when system A has an up moment plus mu zero to get two mu zero as total I need to have a total of plus mu zero in system A prime that is one of the uh, moments should be down so this corresponds to basically for the uh, minus sigma 1 equals minus 1 scenario uh, probability is 1 over 4 because 1 configuration out of 4 and for plus it's 3 out of 4 uh, is the relative frequency so p minus to p plus ratio is then found to be 1 over 3.